Okay, so as everybody knows, I believe that going into the next bull market, I feel like we're going to hit a couple of narratives, and that would be AI, Web3, and DEXs. I think DEXs will be a very big play, especially with the collapse or the different problems that the centralized exchanges are having. And because of that, I get people on here to talk about their DEXs and what's going on. Blagoy from TokenSite, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad to be here. For today, I've just got a couple of questions about how this works, and I need you to walk me through it. DEXs in the very beginning were very cumbersome and really hard to use, and there really wasn't that many features, which is why I'm excited about your guys' product, all the things that they can actually do. So I just need you to kind of walk us through this and everybody here who's watching, uh, and how does this all work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sounds good. Just one thing. So I think it's an important distinction to make. Uh, we're like the DEX trading uh, platform, so we're not a DEX uh, per se. But what we provide is a, a platform that enables our users to create uh, uh, trade orders, uh, such as instant buy and sell orders, uh, uh, limit orders, and some more exotic stuff, such as uh, copy trading and token sniping. Uh, okay. And besides that, we provide alerts. But our goal is to provide uh, our users with a great user experience uh, so they can trade very easily and efficiently tokens that are listed on, on, on DEXs and right. can participate in more exotic stuff. So this was and this was what, what piqued my curiosity. And we'll just talk about copy trading. We'll get into the other stuff real quick. But the copy trading part, I actually had Smart Money Crypto on. This was on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. And one of the things that he talked about was copy trading some of the bigger wallets that are out there. And as, as he called it, the, the smart money. And he went through a lot of different uh, technicals about what it was. So when I took a look at token side, I'm like, oh, that's this is kind of like the same thing. So how does this work as far as like copy trading? Is there like like alerts that you can find like, hey, here's a very big wallet or hey, it's a lot of activity here. Or how does that happen? All right. So at, at the moment, we don't uh, have, uh, let's say, a, a system or, or some kind of, of tool that provides you the wallets. Mm -hmm. But if you have a, a wallet that you want to, to follow so you know someone or some address that is uh, trading very successfully and you want to copy their trades uh, you can do that easily to our platform you can set up a copy trading uh, configuration very easily uh, so what you need to do is to get their uh, address uh, to copy paste it uh, here in, in this screen and then set like how you want to copy that with uh, what amount do you want to copy it uh, one to one for example if they do mm. like 10 if uh, buy to some token do you want to buy it for 10 if or do you want to buy it for a three if or if even if you want to buy it uh, beyond that so you have a few uh, configuration options uh, there and the uh, trade order will be executed very uh, efficiently and what else we work on at the moment for this feature is to provide the option to front run um, the address that you're copying. So basically, uh, uh, if someone is buying some, some token and you also want to buy that token, so uh, what can be done is that your order goes before theirs. Uh, so I think that would be a very interesting uh, feature. Yeah. So you have like you have your limit orders in your buy sell orders and everything in between. And you say like, hey, there's a wallet out there that I found that I like and whatever it does, just copy with that way. So just like that, people can can like the wallets they want to copy, they can they can they can do that. And uh, in the future, we'll also have like uh, like d data. Now we have alerts. People can find addresses through that. But it's not the most convenient feature for finding people to, to copy trade. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, it'd be pretty, a little bit difficult. How about this one with uh, the alerts? I found this was interesting because of, well, first of all, we're going to set up a, an account. So we're going to see these wallets. Price changes, which I guess are just alerts like, hey, this one went up 10%. Maybe you want to uh, sell. Or this one went down 20%. Maybe you want to buy. The DEX listing and the confluence. Walk us through this one with the DEX listing. Is this for all different tokens or is it in just like certain categories or how does that work? Right, so uh, DEX listing uh, alerts are used uh, 
are used to for for getting notifications when a token gets listed on a decentralized exchange. So right. when a liquidity is being added and also trading is being enabled, those kind of alerts are emitted. And what what this configuration enable is a, a very gradual setup so that user can get notified in real time when a liquidity for certain token gets added and they can do a certain uh, operation mm -hmm. operations based on that very close to this so this is let's say uh, not uh, automated way of uh, executing on that but what we're what we have is also like the token sniping feature which basically works like this except it also execute executes transactions based on on these uh, alerts okay uh, so, oh, I got you. So on those alerts, it'll say, "Okay, this is actually this has happened. There's there's something that came in. It's at this price point, and then bam, it it takes it." I think it would be, and, and we talked about this actually uh, with uh, Smart Money Crypto on Sunday. We're, we're talking about the Satoshi VM listing, which has been hotly contested because of the price action. We'll say of what had happened. But if you could have got that alert, it was only on Uniswap V2 V3 in the beginning. Yeah. If, if you got an alert at six dollars and it just started, you could have, and that was at eleven p.m. at night. You could have rode that up in roughly not ten hours. You could have over doubled your, your your money right there just by alerts. I think that's a lot of things that have to get alerted. Like, hey, this new token's out right now. Maybe you should take a look at it. Okay, so as everybody knows, I believe that going into the next bull market, I feel like we're going to hit a couple of narratives, and that would be AI, Web3, and DEXs. I think DEXs will be a very big play, especially with the collapse or the different problems that the centralized exchanges are having. And because of that, I get people on here to talk about their DEXs and what's going on. Blagoy from TokenSite, thanks for coming on, man. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Here's the thing. For today... I've just got a couple of questions about how this works. I need you to walk me through it. DEXs in the very beginning were very cumbersome and really hard to use, and there really wasn't that many features, which is why I'm excited about your guys' product, all the things that they can actually do. So I just need you to kind of walk us through this and everybody here who's watching, uh, and how does this all work? Now, there's a demo, and we're not going to do the, the video, but everybody is, is free to watch that. But this DEX itself, which would draw, what drew me to it was, you guys have limit orders, buy sell orders, token sniping, copy trading, and then your own wallets and confluence and DEX listings. So do me a favor, walk us through that, how that actually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sounds good. Just one thing. So I think it's an important distinction to make. Uh, we are like the DEX trading uh, platform. So we're not a DEX uh, per se, but what we provide is uh, a platform that enables our users to create uh, uh, trade orders, uh, such as instant buy and sell orders, uh, uh, limit orders, and some more exotic stuff, such as uh, copy trading and token sniping. Uh, okay. And besides that, we provide alerts, but our goal is to provide uh, our users with a great user experience uh, so they can trade very easily and efficiently tokens that are listed on, on, on DEXs and right. can participate in more exotic stuff. So this was and the, this was what, what piqued my curiosity. And we'll talk about copy trading. We'll get into the other stuff real quick. But the copy trading part, I actually had Smart Money Crypto on. This was on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. And one of the things that he talked about was copy trading some of the bigger wallets that are out there. And as, as he called it, the, the smart money. And he went through a lot of different... Uh, technicals about what it was. So when I took a look at token side, I'm like, oh, that's this is kind of like the same thing. So how does this work as far as like copy trading? Is there like like alerts that you can find like, hey, here's a very big wallet or hey, it's a lot of activity here. Or how does that happen? All right. So at, at the moment, we don't uh, have, uh, let's say, a, a system or, or some kind of, of tool that provides you the wallets. Mm -hmm. But if you have... Uh, a wallet that you want to, to follow. So you know someone or some address that is uh, trading very successfully and you want to copy their trades, uh, you can do that easily through our platform. You can set up a copy trading uh, configuration very easily. 
Uh, so what you need to do is to get their uh, address, uh, to copy paste it uh, here in, in this screen, and then set like how you want to copy that with uh, what amount do you want to copy it, uh, one to one. For example, if they do mm. like 10 if uh, buy to some token, do you want to buy it for 10 if, or do you want to buy it for a three if, or if, even if you want to buy it uh, beyond that. So you have a few uh, configuration options uh, there and the uh, trade order will be executed very uh, efficiently. And what else we work on at the moment for this feature is to provide the option to front run um, the address that you're copying. So basically, uh, uh, if someone is buying some, some token and you also want to buy that token, so uh, what can be done is that your order goes before theirs. Uh, so I think that would be a very interesting uh, feature. Yeah, so you have like you have your limit orders in, your buy sell orders and everything in between. And you say like, hey, there's a wallet out there that I found that I like and whatever it does, just copy with that way. Something, something like that. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, like ju just like that. People can can like the wallets they want to copy, they can they can they can do that. And uh, in the future, we'll also have like uh, like data. Now we have alerts. People can find addresses through that, but it's not the most convenient feature for finding people to, to copy trade. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, it'd be pretty, a little bit difficult. How about this one with uh, the alerts? I found this was interesting because of, well, first of all, we're going to set up a, an account. So we're going to see these wallets. Price changes, which I guess are just alerts like, hey, this one went up 10%. Maybe you want to uh, sell or this one went down 20%. Maybe you want to buy. The DEX listing and the confluence. Walk us through this one with the DEX listing. Is this for all different tokens or is it in just like certain categories or how does that work? Right. So uh, DEX listing uh, alerts are used uh, are used to for, for getting notifications when a token gets listed on a decentralized exchange. So right. when a liquidity is uh, being cutted and also trading is being enabled, those kind of alerts are emitted and what what this configuration enable is a, a very gradual setup so that user can get notified in real time when a liquidity for certain token gets added and they can do a certain uh, operation mm -hmm. operations based on that very close to this so this is let's say uh, not uh, automated way of uh, executing on that but what we what we have is also like the token sniping feature which basically works like this, except it also execute, executes transactions based on, on these uh, alerts. Okay. So, oh, I got you. So on those alerts, the, it'll say, okay, this is actually, this has happened. There's, there's something that came in, it's at this price point, and then bam, it, it takes it. I think it would be, and, and we talked about this actually uh, with uh, Smart Money Crypto on Sunday, we're, we're talking about the Satoshi VM listing which has been hotly contested because of the price action, we'll say, of what had happened. But if you could have got that alert, because this was only, it was only on Uniswap, V2, V3 in the beginning. Yeah, if, if you got an alert at $6 and it just started, you could have, and that was at 11 p.m. at night, you could have rode that up in roughly 10 hours you could have over doubled your, your your money right there just by alerts. I think that's a lot of things that happen, especially with these with these new listings. They'll see like a big peak and then a big drop off. But I think it would be like a whenever situation if you get alerted like, hey, this new token's out right now. Maybe you should take a look at it. Uh, yes, yes, uh, exactly. So uh, in particular with, with this token, we also uh, uh, like we're testing what, what happened. So we... Uh, looked into the, the chart and looked into the data and basically uh, analyzed it uh, uh, very deeply uh, because we are, uh, as I said, we are doing the token typing feature, which should be live uh, very soon. And basically, uh, when, when that's live and uh, tokens like this uh, launch, people can use our token typing feature mm -hmm. and they can also uh, do use that in combination with 
uh, limit orders and take take profit orders. So uh, if, if used like properly, uh, they can also benefit uh, from that. We've analyzed this token because this was uh, like heavily sniped from uh, our, our competitors. Mm -hmm. uh, and there were a bunch of uh, tweet threads uh, uh, on, on Twitter how a lot of people made uh, a lot of money with this. Well, that is true. They made a boatload of money. So, but it's all about getting in and getting out. Unfortunately, people got to realize that. Okay. So thanks about that piece. Now let's, uh, before we get into actually creation of, a, of a, an account, just so everybody knows it's available on all devices, of course, mobile tablets, and uh, like I'm using right now on my desktop. This is interesting, the rewards. And because you guys are, again, you said, you know, we're not a DEX per se, but we integrate with different DEXs. And of course, at, at some point, you're going to have even more so to become a, a DEX aggregator. But you have a token. Holders of the TKST token or token side token qualify 75% of platform trading fees and 40% of token trading taxes. So is that still in effect or how's this working? Yeah, this is uh, all life and, and, and working. Basically, uh, token holders are entitled to 75% of the platform trading fees. So the platform works in a way that it's free to use, but on every uh, trade, uh, not, a, not on every, but on the trades that are not stable coin pairs, uh, we, we do uh, apply a trading fee and that trading fee is based on the user, uh, user's volume, mm -hmm. volume tier. So we have uh, volume fee tiers, uh, but uh, uh, to, to keep it simple, we, we, we charge a uh, uh, fee uh, on, on every trade and uh, those fees, 75% uh, of them are distributed to the token holders so they can log in uh, to the app, they can go to rewards uh, dashboard and they can claim their, uh, their fees uh, from, from there. We have uh, also a, a mechanism to, uh, which which basically vests the the fees for for two weeks. So, for example, if you're a token holder, uh, you you earn uh, fees today, but you can claim them in in uh, uh, in two uh, in two weeks. That's basically done in order to uh, like uh, basically promote people that are here for the long term. Right. Uh, yeah, and also the rewards are paid in ETH. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, and also the token has a forty percent token uh, uh, has a five percent uh, trading uh, tax. So each buy and sell um, basically uh, has a five percent tax, and forty percent of that goes to uh, token holders, mm -hmm. and that's. Uh, that's how it works at the moment. Uh, in the long run, we'll look to uh, remove the uh, token trading uh, tax uh, from the token and we'll rely solely on the platform trading fees. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll do that once we, we have like more volume on, on the platform. Gotcha. And just so everybody knows, if you were looking to, to have that token, because you know you have rewards and people can put it out there, but the token itself, uh, you guys just launched, what, two months ago or so. This is very new. But even at launch, you guys are still up a little bit, I mean, from the launch time. So it looks like uh, I mean, things are working along swimmingly. I can't say that for every token that's out there that's launched, <laughs> but it's looking pretty good so far. All right. So lastly, again, all these links are in the description for everybody. Uh, I'm just going to do this real quick. For you guys to to sign up for an account, there's really two ways. I like how you guys made this very simple for the Web2 folks and the Web3 folks. So to get into the actual DEX itself, your email address. Some people hate to put in the email address. You know what? I'm a Web3 person. So great. If you want to do that, you can go over here, continue with Ethereum, and you will sign in with Ethereum. And you have to sign in in some way with my MetaMask. So we'll take a MetaMask. And of course, I'll go through the whole process and fast forward this part. Connect. So of course, right here, you guys already have a, a pretty good security system. I wish Gary Gensler would have done this for his uh, X account. This is called two-factor authentication. And if they would have done that, they wouldn't have gotten a hack. So I'm gonna set that up myself. So these are secure. Okay, Blue Boy, so we made it. Welcome to Token Site, okay. Looks pretty good. Wow, it's a lot of stuff. Walk me through this. All right, so this is the token buy order 
uh, a page uh, from, from this screen uh, you can you can buy uh, assets uh, uh, but but first uh, I would say uh, in order to do that you need to um, to send some uh, funds to your uh, wallet and okay. that can be done on the wallets page uh, so so uh, yeah this is uh, just to select the wallet but the wallet page can be found uh, like if you expand the the menu yeah uh, you, you can yeah you can so this is the wallets page this is your simple wallet and you can uh, deposit uh, uh, on this wallet easily or you can create a new wallet uh, and you can also create a secure wallet here uh -huh. uh, and this so basically this wallet is stored in a, a cloud hardware security module and can be treated as a uh, remote uh, hardware wallet and it's uh, very secure so we recommend uh, uh, to people to to create a secure wallet and uh, use that for uh, for their uh, for their trading uh, initially we uh, just create uh, a, a, a simple wallet uh, uh, for them because the secure wallet needs more uh, manual input from from the user they need to basically uh, authorize certain actions and they uh, they control that wallet with a pass key. Of course. So this won't be like, this would be your uh, custodial wallet. Yeah. Non-custodial, whichever you want to do. So if I created this one, it would go through and probably give me mnemonic phrase, pass keys. Uh, uh, it will ask you uh, to, to add a name for the wallet and afterwards that you will need to uh, authorize with the pass key. Basically. Ah, I gotcha. So this yeah. would look like this wallet yeah. name, recovery email. Hey, it's pretty good. Recovery email. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then walk us through this because I know there's a reason why you guys didn't want to have like say a MetaMask or a Phantom wallet or something like that or a Titus wallet to be able to connect with token site. There's a reason for this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely there is a, a reason for that. Uh, technically, it's the easiest way to, to implement. And I would say, like, majority of the crypto apps work in that way where you connect with your uh, MetaMask wallet and then you operate uh, there. But in our case, that's a bit uh, uh, problematic because we, uh, we want to have a good user experience. And that means that when user creates a trade, they don't need to uh, sign, like, to transactions they don't need to sign approvals and basically uh with the approach of the users going in and uh, uh, connecting with their uh, metamask and then uh, like trading with that uh we we will have a, a bad uh, user experience basically they will have bad user experience uh so uh, in the future we'll we'll enable importing uh the user accounts to, to the platform, uh, right. although we don't recommend that, but people uh, want that simplicity. So they import that and will also store that in a uh, cloud mm -hmm. hardware security module and they can uh, trade that way very easily. But uh, with the current approach, it's very, uh, very easy uh, to, to trade once you uh, once you deposit some funds. Uh, and people can uh, basically deposit funds, and then they can uh, uh, trade uh, trade very easily. Wow, that's crazy! I was able to set this up with my uh, biometrics with my uh, finger because I have right. a, a Mac MacBook Pro. That is fantastic. So now we have everything secured to get them back in there. People are going to need my finger. <laughs> Good luck. Or they're going to need some kind of recovery phrase, which I'm not going to export right now. But that's a it's a pretty slick interface for this one, Blagoy. This was a pretty good primer for everybody. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll have Blagoy back and we'll go over this stuff a little bit uh, later. But that is the basics of how to get in and to use it. Now, if we get into the other stuff, uh, we'll do this. We'll do a follow up video and we'll have everybody uh, walk through it and actually trade. But that'll get you the basics, everybody, so you can understand how this actually works. Blagoy, anything else? To, did I miss anything right now? Uh, well, basically, we are working hard on enabling the uh, token sniping uh, feature. Uh, so that will be live uh, today. And uh, also, we are working on, a, on our short-term uh, roadmap that we released uh, uh, last week. 
basically we will have a, a, a simpler UI for so for the trade orders it will be a bit different there will be a more features such as like uh, 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 showing the PNL of each trade the users can um, monitor easily uh, their performance on the platform uh, besides this we'll also be expanding on multiple chains so we'll expand on Solana and multiple Ethereum uh, L2s. We'll also integrate a uh, few different aggregators. At the moment, we are uh, live, basically we, uh, we support only Uniswap V2 and V3, but we'll also support uh, everything else. Uh, we are working on, uh, on uh, several partnerships uh, for this as well. Uh, and also uh, in the near future, future we'll uh, provide a telegram uh, user interface for more convenience. Of course, like the, the approach we have taken with the web app is uh, provides more uh, richer features. Mm -hmm. You can view charts, uh, you can do a bunch of things, but some people only want the convenience of, of Telegram and chat apps. So we'll have that as well. Awesome. All right. So that was a lot of information, a little bit about time. So everybody, First of all, Blagoy, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Everybody, the links for everything we just talked about, everything we did are in the description. You can check that out. We'll do a follow-up and uh, as things start to roll in, because again, this is uh, just getting started, but excellent product so far. It looks pretty good. I hope you guys, I moving forward, hope for the best. Blagoy, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for having me.